Hello guys and welcome. It's Engineering Rebel and in this video, I'm going to show you guys on how to make a monostable circuit just like this one. So unlike a flip-flop circuit, the LEDs would not switch back and forth on their own. Instead, this one, when you push the button, the blue light will turn off and the red one will turn on and then it'll go back to the blue LED. Just like this. So when I push the button, the current flows from this LED to the red one and then goes back to the blue. So in order to do this project, you will need a breadboard, two jumper cables for the positive and negative terminals, some connecting wires, two LEDs, a 100 microfarad capacitor, a switch, two BC547 transistors, two 1K resistors, one 51K resistor, one 220 ohm resistor and one 330 ohm resistor along with a 9 volt battery and some alligator clips. So first we're going to put in our BC547 transistors. So this one is going to go on the third row and the flat side has to be facing towards you and the second one will go on the second row. So it will go right here. Next, we're going to connect this leg of the transistor to the negative terminal. So it should look something like this. Give it one row of space in between the little jumper wire and the transistor. Next, we're going to do the same with the second transistor. So we're gonna connect this leg to the negative terminal as well. And because it's on the second row, there would not be a space just like this one. Then we're gonna take our 1K resistor and we're gonna plug one leg into the positive terminal and the next leg in the same row as this little jumper wire and also in the same row as the farthest leg of the transistor. Then we're gonna take our 330 ohm resistor and we're gonna plug it into the positive terminal and the other leg will go in the same row as the farthest leg of the transistor. Kind of similar to transistor number one, except because it's in the second row, there won't be a gap in between. Next, we're gonna put a jumper cable in the same row as the 330 ohm resistor for the second transistor. So it should look something like this. So it will be this jumper cable, then it will be the second transistor, then the 330 ohm resistor, so they will all be in one row. Next, we're gonna put in our white jumper cable, which will go right next to the yellow one, and this strand will go in the middle row as the second transistor. Like that. So next, we're gonna take our 1K resistor and we're gonna plug in this leg to the farthest leg of the transistor and this leg in the middle row of the second transistor. Just like this. Now is the time to do two things. So grab your 100 microfarad capacitor and also grab a small little jumper cable. So first we're gonna start with the jumper cable. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna put this strand in the same row as the middle strand of the first transistor. So this will go here and this will go anywhere. It could be 25 or 26 or even maybe 24 as long as it's in the same row. Then we're gonna take our 100 microfarad capacitor and we're gonna put the negative terminal in the same row as the end strand of this jumper cable. So it will go right here and the positive will go at the end of this yellow jumper cable. So it should look kind of like this. Now we're going to put in our two LEDs. So first we're going to take the positive part of the LED and we're going to plug it in right in the same row as the end strand of this yellow jumper cable. So the positive will go here. And the negative we're going to put in to the next row of this black jumper cable. So it's not going to go in the same row as the black transistor, but instead right next to it. Then we're gonna take our other LED and we're gonna plug in the positive right next to this yellow jumper cable and the negative 
anywhere but the next row. Next, we're going to connect the negative terminal of the LED to the negative rail. So this little strand of this jumper cable will go there, and this little strand will go into the negative terminal, just like this. The same applies to the other LED. So we're going to put this one here and this strand into the negative terminal. Then we are going to take our 51K resistor and plug in one of the strands into the positive rail and the other one in the same row as the negative strand of the capacitor. Next, we're going to take our switch and plug it in as the same row as the white jumper cable. It won't go here, but it will go in the row right under that. Then, finally, we're going to take our 220 ohm resistor and we're going to take this strand and put it in as the same row as this strand of the switch. And the other one will go in the positive terminal. Now for the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. So I already have my battery hooked up. There we go. We plugged in the positive and next the negative. Let's see. Yes. Success. Looks pretty good. I have to admit the yellow and the green is actually much nicer than the red and the blue, at least in my opinion. I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm definitely going to probably solder this on a real green board in the future. Looks pretty good. And it works. It relays in time. It does not get stuck. Working beautifully. So thank you guys so much for watching and you can also see that I connected my two boards together so they can actually both work together if I push both buttons. I really love doing projects like these and I kind of want to take a break again from engines and mechanical engineering and after all I am the engineering rebel not the engine rebel so I kind of want to give this channel a variety. In the future I might also make some videos about cars, I know a lot of people have been asking me about that so please stay in tune and also join my Patreon at Engineering Rebel and please hit that subscribe button. More awesome videos are to come and I will see you guys in the next one.